Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me today. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're staying busy, having fun, enjoying the weather. There are so many things to do in the summertime. It's really difficult to find the time to do everything, but we always have time for a little unboxing and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be opening up the Curated Bee Box for the month of July. Now, if you're not familiar with the Curated Bee Box, I'll leave a link down below so you can go check it out. But basically, Curated Bee Box is a monthly bead subscription box that includes all kinds of things, such as beads, charms, pendants, and other items, specially selected with unique color combinations and themes. There are usually enough items to make a number of pieces, such as bracelets, necklaces, and earrings. The box goes for $20 a month, which includes shipping in the USA. And if you don't want a subscription, you can always just buy the box individually. They actually do offer previous boxes on their website. One of the nice things about this box is they're finding starter kit, which usually comes in either silver or gold. And if you're a beginner wondering where or how to start, this is the perfect box for you because the finding starter kit includes crimp beads, elastic, beading wire, memory wire, head pins, jump rings, ear wires, and lobster claw clasps. So there's no need to go out and buy anything extra because everything you need is included, except for the tools, of course. Anyway, like I said, I'll leave a link down below along with a coupon code for 35% off your first subscription box. The coupon code is Louisa35. Now before we get started, let me remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, because it really does help my channel and it helps me as a content creator to stay motivated to create more videos for you. So anyway, I'm hoping that we get some summer themed beads. I can't wait to see what's in the box. So let's go ahead, turn the camera around and we'll get started. And here we have created bead box for the month of July. As you can see, the name of the box is Coral Reef. One of the things I like about curated bee box is that they always give you a little preview of what's in the box. And down here on the left side are all the contents and on the right are the codes for each one. So if you ever wanted to buy any extras from their online store, which is the dollarbead.com store, you could do a search on their website using these codes. I've tried some of these codes before and you don't always get results. It all depends on availability, but you could always give it a shot. Now, one thing I did want to point out is down here, it says bead sizes and types may vary due to availability. And I wanted to point that out because you may not get the exact same beads that I'm going to be showing you today. So anyway, guys, I can't wait to see what's in this box. Let's go ahead and open it up. And let me pull out the contents. And as always, there are tons of beads here. This is the Finding Starter Kit. This is a really great thing to have if you're a beginner beater because it has all the items that you need to get started. And it looks like we have this beautiful component. It's a turtle and some tassels. And look at all these colors, guys. These are so pretty. And as you can see, the strands are really long. Let me go ahead and organize it and we'll go through each one. I like to start with the large beads. And this month we get some gemstones. And these are carnelian gemstones. They're 12 millimeters in size, so they're really big. And I don't think these are round beads. They look like they're kind of a rondelle shape. Let me put them on a dish and bring it up close so you can take a better look. Now they're not as red as some carnelian that I've seen, but they're still very nice. It's a very earthy brownish kind of color, but you can definitely see some peach and some orange in some of these other beads. I'm not complaining. I'm just grateful that they gave us gemstones this month. I thought I would throw them onto my rod so you can see a different angle. These are actually very, very nice. I love the shape. They're definitely not round beads, as you can see. And even though they're 12 millimeters across, they're actually about nine millimeters thick. So from the side, they're not as big, and these are gonna look great on a bracelet or a necklace. But don't you just love gemstones, guys? Look at the variation. That's what I like about them. I like that each one is different. This one has a little detail right here, and this one has a little spot. They're all very different, and that's what I like about gemstones. It's a little difficult to see the color under these lights, but I'm sure that if I take these outside, you'll definitely see the carnelian color. So anyway, I think these are lovely. And here we have two strands of 10 millimeter size beads. Each strand is eight inches long. These are both jade style glass beads, and they really do look like jade. The color of this one is aqua waves. I'm not sure why they're called aqua waves, but the color is definitely aqua. And what I like about the jade style glass beads is that they're slightly translucent. So these look really nice outside in the sunlight because the light shines through them and they're great for summer jewelry. I love them. This one here is called soft turquoise. And one thing I've noticed about the colors of the curated bee box is that they don't always look like what they sound like. So to me, this doesn't look like turquoise. It looks more like a green color or a pale teal color. Nevertheless, it's very pretty. I love it. And because these are in a very soft color, they're great for summertime. And actually, if you'll take a look, the value of both of these is very similar. 
And when I say value, I'm referring to the intensity of the color. One of the things that I've learned through the years with all the different artistic things that I've done is that if you stick to the same value, no matter what color you use, they're more compatible and they're easier to work with. In other words, if this blue was a very bright blue and this was the soft green color, then it would look kind of odd. But because they're both the same kind of value, they look okay together. I hope that makes sense. Let's go ahead and look at the smaller beads now. And here we have four strands of eight millimeter size beads. These two strands here on the outside are 16 inch strands. They're very long. And these strands here on the inside are a little bit shorter. They're 10.5 inches long. Let's take a look at this large one here. As you can see, these are glass pearl beads. The color is crisp blue. And again, I'm not sure about the name because to me, this is a very soft blue. I would not necessarily call it a crisp blue but it's absolutely gorgeous nevertheless. And as you can see, they have a gorgeous luster. I always look at the holes to see if they're clean and there's no chipping or peeling of the paint. And these look like they're pretty good quality. There are no scratches or anything anywhere. They look like they're in great shape, but I really do love this color. It's very, very pretty. Let's take a look at this other strand now. This one reminds me of Carnelian. So these are definitely gonna look great with the gemstones that we received this month. Aren't these pretty guys? These are so beautiful. The name of this color is Burnt Orange. And again, because it's that Jade Star glass, you can see the light shining through the bead. And even though these are glass, you can still see some variation. It's probably due to the paint that they coated on top of the bead, but I think it makes them look a little bit like gemstones. But I'm not sure if I'll team them up with these uh, Carnelian gemstones or not. I'll have to wait and see what I do with them. I'm pretty sure it would work though. Let's take a look at these other ones. I think this strand is going to go really well with the ones that I just showed you. These are called duo style glass beads and the reason they're called duo style is because they actually have two colors. If you'll look closely you'll see burnt orange and blue. It's a beautiful effect. We've had duo style beads before quite a few times and each time we receive some they're always a different color. But I absolutely adore this combination. Look at this guys. Look how beautiful these beads are. These are so gorgeous and these are definitely going to go really well with these other burnt orange beads. Look how nice they look together. And when you hold them up to these gemstones, you can see how well they coordinate. These beads look really great with the gemstones. So this would be one way to use them. So I may think about making something with this combination. It's so pretty. Let's go ahead and take a look at this strand now. Look at this gorgeous green, guys. Look at that beautiful green color. It's a little bit metallic. The name of this bead is Drizzled Glass Bead, and it's called Drizzled Glass Bead because if you look closely, it does look like they drizzled a color on top of the green. And the description says the color of this bead is apple green slash gold, and you can definitely see a combination of the two colors. So this is an interesting combination. I don't know if I'll team them up with uh, these colors down here but I think we have some other smaller beads in the box that are similar to this color. So let's go ahead and take a look at the smaller beads now. And here we have four strands of six millimeter size beads and I'm super happy because I love the six millimeter size. You can do so much when you have a smaller size bead. It just makes designing so much easier because it gives you more options. So anyway, as you can see, they're very long strands again. These first three are 16 inches long and this one's a little bit shorter. This one's 10 and a half inches long. Let's take a look at this one here. As you can see, these are also glass pearl beads. The description says the color is bronze. And again, I'm not sure if I would call it bronze. To me, this looks more like a coral color or a pale orange color. But again, I'm not complaining. I think it's a beautiful color. It's gorgeous. And of course, I love the luster of these pearls. I like to use pearls once in a while because of the luster, but I don't usually make necklaces with just pearls. I usually team them up with other glass beads or gemstones. So anyway, these are gorgeous. I love them. Let's take a look at this strand. The color of this strand is pale salmon. And as you can see, these are also jade style glass beads. It's a gorgeous color and it definitely looks wonderful with these pearl beads. I can totally see a necklace using both of these beads. I'm not sure if I'll use them together, but that's just one idea. But anyway, guys, these are very, very pretty. And again, I love the six millimeter size. Let's take a look at this green now. Now this green definitely goes with the ones that I showed you before. And here they are. And don't they look beautiful together, guys? Look at this. These are so gorgeous. I gotta say, guys, I'm very happy with this month's collection. It's so pretty. Look at these colors. It's not gonna be that difficult to come up with something. I'm getting all kinds of inspiration. But anyway, these two look beautiful together. I love them. And by the way, the name of this color is Citrine. 
So even though it's called citrine, to me it looks more green than yellow. But the name of the color is really not that important, guys. What matters is how the beads look together. And that's what I'm focusing on with this collection. Very pretty. Let's take a look at this one now. And these are a lovely shade of green. The name of this color is actually olive. And these are gemstone star glass beads. And you can see why. They definitely look like gemstones if you look close. I'm not sure if you're able to see the detail within each bead, but you can definitely see some crackling or something inside the beads. But I would not call these crackle beads. They don't look like crackle beads at all. They definitely look more like gemstones. And Curated Bee Box did a wonderful job this month because look how beautiful these colors look together. They did an awesome job of matching the colors up. So you have lots of options this month. You have the carnelian shades, you have a little bit of salmon there, the greens, the blues. And look how pretty these two look together. I love this combination. These are so gorgeous. Sometimes you just have to put beads together to figure out what to do with them because you're not going to know until you start playing with them. And I know Curated Bee Box went through a lot of trouble to coordinate these colors. It's not easy guys, it really isn't. Because a lot of times when you receive beads you don't always get what you think you're going to get. Especially if you're looking at them online. Sometimes the images online aren't as accurate as you think. But anyway guys, as you can see there's a lot to work with here. And you don't have to use all of them in the same necklace. You can pick and choose. I'm not afraid to mix up my colors. So I may actually use colors from all the strands. I don't know yet. I'm still deciding. And of course these gemstones are going to look really great no matter what you do. Let's take a look at this component here. As you can see it's a pendant. This is the front side and this is the back side and it's rather large. It measures 58 by 40 millimeters and as you can see it's a turtle and it's in an antique silver color and although it's very cute I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. I'm gonna have to think about it but I love all these details and I love the color. Very very cute and here we have four tassels. They're in a turquoise color and the description says that you can actually cut these to the desired length. So if you don't want them this long you can definitely trim them. They're made out of polyester and one of the things I like to do with these tassels is to put a bell shaped cap on them. So I may end up doing that, I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with these and see what I can come up with. But I like the idea of trimming them because they would actually make really adorable earrings. And the last thing on the list is this Finding Starter Kit. Let me pull out the contents. As you can see they're all in a silver color. And we have some memory wire. And I believe the gauge is 0.6 millimeters. We have some beading wire. And this is the 7 strand beading wire. We have some crimp beads. And these are the round crimp beads. They're not crimp tubes. So these are ideal for flattening. You don't have to fold them over if you don't want to. Although I have done that before. And we have some jump rings and these are excellent jump rings. I believe these are about 19 gauge so they're pretty thick and they're actually very very strong. And we have some lobster claw clasps. We get four of them as you can see. And we have some head pins. These are flat head pins and these are also very thick. And we get some stretch cord. They usually give us very thick stretch cord which means you can load large beads on it. It's very very strong. And we get some ear wire hooks. And I believe there are six here, so that's enough to make three pairs of earrings. So if you're a beginner beater, this is an ideal kit to have because it helps you to get started. It has some of the essentials that you need to make several pieces. It doesn't have everything, but it has a lot of the essentials. And it just saves you from having to go out and figure out what you need to get. So anyway guys, that's the full collection for the month of July. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. I sure did. I love these colors. They're so pretty. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be using a lot of them together. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to decide. But I love using color. I really do. And I'm not afraid to mix my colors up. Let me go ahead and put these away and I'll come back and say goodbye. Well, I guess I'm going to be busy for the next few days while I come up with something. It's not going to be that difficult because I really love the beads this month. I love all the colors and I love that turtle. It's so cute. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be busy coming up with a design and I'll definitely make a tutorial. So please come back and check my channel for that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.